Hi, a few people have asked me how to do the battery tray conversion, um, mainly so that they can stick a, a decent battery in. This is the 5.2 amp hour battery that's often used in the Walkera um, 350, I think. Basically, the original battery is a 2.8. This will give me around 20 minutes run time, depending on what I do with it. Uh, but typically about 15 minutes, no problem at all, compared to 8 to 10 minutes for the original. So uh, this is the, uh, believe it or not, CX-20. I rebodied this because I smashed it so much. So there's the original body, um, thoroughly destroyed. Um, they're the same body, and I've got another video time lapse of me swapping everything over. So what have I done to the inside to make it fit? So if we uh, come down here, there's the standard battery tray, standard connector, um, but if you look inside, you may or may not be able to see that there are some pillars in here that the green PCB sits on. Now, all I've done is I've extended them upwards with some uh, plastic uh, uprights and put a little bit of pin in there to stick them on. That means that when you go to put the battery in, it slides through the tray, just goes straight in, absolutely snugly. I could probably get a bigger battery in there. Now, the main reason that I've gone up so high is because when you go in, it goes at a bit of an angle. So you've got to make sure there's enough room. And then the whole thing sits together battery tray shuts nicely and uh, you'd never know the difference um, to those of you noticed the little Fresnel lens has gone on this because I've crashed it and lost it so that's all very well what does it actually take to do it so here's one I prepared earlier from my previously smashed base there's a lot of glue in here um, live with it so here's the normal base pillars and if I get a pair of pliers on there you can see that all I've actually done is put some pins into the original holes. So these are literally little bits of coat hanger. Um, I stuck them in so well that they won't move at all. No. So these are little bits of coat hanger, and all I've done is pushed it into the hole that was there. So when you look at these, right through the middle of them, I'll snap this one off, there's a hole that goes through the middle. So on top of that, through there, I've pushed a piece of coat hanger. That's in very tight, because what I've done first is put some hot glue in, obviously. Once you've got that piece of coat hanger, you can put in something like this, and these are PCB standoffs. Very, very loose fit. So all you do, big dob of hot glue straight onto the outside of the pin, push that on. and then your PCB drops straight on top of it. That gives you a little bit extra room such that you can slide the battery up through the middle. So then the battery sits on there. As you can see, there's plenty of room to get it in. Uh, the important factor is, of course, to make sure it gets stuck down. Make sure you screw down the top. If you don't, it flies around a bit. Um, and you can upset the gyros internally. Um, but otherwise, this one, I broke the front off, I put a piece of stainless in, otherwise it just fits straight in. Good luck, happy flying, and remember to fix it with lots of hot glue.